Hey everyone, this is DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to cut, copy and paste with your iPhone. Let's get started. Cut, copying and pasting on the iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch is very simple. It just involves a hold touch on the words. So for example, I've written out a few things here, how to cut, copy and paste a DHTV tutorial. So if I wanted to cut tutorial off of this, all I would do is hold my finger over tutorial and I'll get some options here. Now what you want to do first is tap select. You can also tap select all to select everything on the page. And if it's in a notes app or if it's in anything that you've sort of typed, you'll be able to cut it. If you haven't typed it, if you're doing this to a website on say Safari, you'll be able to copy the text. So for this example, we'll cut tutorial right out. We'll cut that out. And let's say I wanted to place it down here. You just hold on the section you want to place it. And now you'll have a paste tab here. And if we tap on that, tutorials now selected down there. Now, in the same sense, if I wanted to highlight and copy DHTV, I would hit select. It would select that word, and then I can tap copy. And let's say I wanted to put it beside, I would just tap beside it and tap paste. So the same process with pictures, it's the same process with all words. So as I talked about earlier, if you select all, it'll select everything. You can copy, cut, you can do various things with that. And if you're using this on Facebook, there is pretty much no way to cut and paste on the Facebook app. Now this is nothing to do with the iPhone, it's just the app itself and you'll notice this with many apps as well. Now just to give you guys a full example here, I'm going to do this in Safari. So if I tap on Safari here, you'll see it brings up this page. Now let's say I wanted to select this whole paragraph. Now I'm going to highlight, it's only going to select the one word. You'll see we've got two bars here. I can just drag these bars down to where I want to select and it'll kind of select the area. It's a little bit tedious, especially if you're in different modes. If you're in portrait mode, landscape mode, it's a little bit harder to move it around, but you can see I grabbed that paragraph. I could copy it. I could go back to my notes application here. I can just tap and paste it and there it is with the link. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, take a quick second to hit that like button and share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. It helps out the channel and it helps other people find these videos as well. If you're also interested in more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and it'll notify you when I post a new video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.